Hi, today I'm going to talk about reactive hypoglycemia. This is different than the regular um, hypoglycemia you hear about. Most of the time, hypoglycemia is caused by not eating, and the blood sugar just kind of drifts off and goes down. And it's, it's common in diabetics because they're often taking drugs to keep their blood sugar low, but it's assumed they're going to be eating. So the doses are, you know, the dosage is around the amount dealt to deal with the food they're supposed to be eating. But with reactive hypoglycemia, there's something totally different going on. What, in this case, what happens is you've eaten something that's high in carbs, usually a lot of sugar, and it's often on an empty stomach. You eat that high level of sugar and your body overreacts to it. Your blood sugar goes super high and you may feel a little sick at that point. Some people feel it, some people don't. And then it suddenly drops because you overproduce insulin to compensate for the high blood sugar. And your blood sugar can often be below 50, which is, which is not good. You'll feel sweaty, nauseous. You might be confused. I think that's the hardest part is being confused because when you're confused, you're not thinking straight and you're wondering what's going on. You may have weird thoughts about food. It's just, it's, it's an awful feeling. But what you need to do is you need to eat some sugar or some very easily digested carbs, usually about 15 grams. And then you wait 15 minutes. You verify that your blood sugar has gone above 70. And if it's gone above 70, then you have to take an extra step from other people that are having hypoglycemic event. And that is you need to eat 15 grams of protein. The reason you need the protein is that your body is responding incorrectly. So if you just eat the sugar, it's possible that you'll have a rebound effect, that your blood sugar will go back up again and then drop again. And yes, I've been there, done that. It's not pleasant. So it does actually happen. So you've got to have the, the protein to help stabilize your blood sugar after you've brought your blood sugar up. But you can't eat the protein in the beginning because first you got to get your blood sugar up. So it's, it's a you know, multi-step process, can't do it any faster. You can't just like mush them all together and hope that doing it all at once is going to fix it. It doesn't work that way. Um, obviously, I have reactive hypoglycemia from my bypass surgery that I had in May of 2010. It has hit me a few times when I didn't expect it. I have also, for me, stress seems to affect it. Um, stress is just doing things that aren't your normal things, your normal stuff. So having family visit, going on vacation, um, just traveling, anything that's outside your normal routine, you're usually not eating like you normally do. And you've got things happening around you, you're not, you're just, your routine is disrupted and your body can really respond to that. And I've had more events where that's happened. And I point that out because there are foods I can eat at home with no problem, but I have had when I was traveling hypoglycemic events from them. So that's the part that makes it a little confusing. That's why if you're having hypoglycemic events, you should get a glucose monitor. A lot of insurance plans cover that so you can talk to your doctor. But if your doctor or your plan doesn't include getting a monitor, they're not that expensive to buy from the store. So if you think you're having hypoglycemic events, I highly recommend that you buy a glucose monitor so you can actually monitor what's going on or check and see if when you're nauseous, if that's the case. Because for me personally, a little sorry about this, but when I have diarrhea, I often feel the same way. Nauseous, sweating, um, not usually disoriented. I think the disoriented is the biggest indicator for me that it's a hypoglycemic event and not just a gut issue where it's, say, dumping. Because dumping can obviously feel similar in some ways. So I'm a coach for people who've had weight loss surgery, and I try to help people deal with the different issues, come up with solutions, change their lifestyle so that they get everything they dreamed that the weight loss surgery was gonna do for them. My name is Zena Awesome, 
And if you have any questions, please write them in the comments.